Well, hello, and welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. I totally just recorded 20 minutes of this to realize that the monitor was the wrong one that was being uh, recorded. So we get to start all over again. Tomorrow we have the summer festival and we're going to hang out with Kurumaru tonight. Woof. Kurumaru is looking at you pleadingly. Maybe you should feed him. You happen to have the dog food you made at the cooking club. Will you give it to him? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it to him. Woof. Arf, Koromaru seems happy. Okay, you can eat. Arf, Koromaru began eating while wagging his tail. Munch, munch, Koromaru keeps eating. Uh, how does it taste? Woof, munch, Koromaru is still eating. Arf, Koromaru has finished eating and seems satisfied. Um, can I pet you? When you tried to pet him, Koromaru snuggled up to you. You enjoyed his soft fur for a while. Koromaru doesn't seem cautious about you. It seems he's gotten quite attached to you. You sense a faint bond with Koromaru. So we are now friends with a dog. Um, I really don't have anything else to say about this, to be honest. It's cute. Dog, 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 dog. Thou art I, and I art thou. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the strength arcana. Woof. Koromaru is stretching contentedly. You spent a peaceful moment with Koromaru. Okay, so today is the summer festival. Summer vacation continues. Come to think of it, there is a summer festival going on at Naganaki Shrine. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get a series of four phone calls, or as many phone call, up to four phone calls. We're gonna start out with Junpei. You can go to, to the shrine with any person but you have like you have to choose from one of those four and you're forced into the fourth one if you don't choose any of the other ones i'm not gonna show off like june pays or um the other two i'm just gonna choose the one that i want to go with but there i'm sure people have done it before the first phone call is junpei the second phone call is akihiko the third one is yukari and you go with fuka and the fourth one is mitsuru and you go with her and igis if you don't go with the first three you end up going with mitsuru and igis uh, so you kind of get forced into having to go regardless of whether or not you want to go but uh junpei here hey katona it's me there's a summer festival at naganaki shrine today if you've got nothing better to do want to go with me i'm gonna say no because um as much as I like Junpei, to get the social link stuff that we want, we're going to go with Akihiko. Hello, it's Akihiko. There's a festival at the Naganaki Shrine today. Want to come with? Sure. All right, then I'll see you later. You decided to go to the summer festival with Akihiko. Should you wear a yukata for the occasion? And I'm going to say yes. This doesn't change much, but it does um, change a little bit of conversational Parts, and I'm just gonna say let's go in the yukata. You decide to go wearing a yukata You have come to Naganaki Shrine with Akihiko. The shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games Wow, looks like business is booming. There's a lot of people too. make sure you don't get separated. Okay uh, Either one I'm gonna say should we hold hands? What are you talking about? I don't treat you that much like a kid do I come on? Let's go pay a visit to the shrine first Akihiko seems to be having a lot of fun. It looks hard to walk in. You didn't have to wear a yukata here, you know? Uh, uh, I didn't mean, hmm, well, it makes it hard to look directly at you. Hmm, you look good in it, don't get mad. It seems Akihiko is very happy to see you wearing it. Something smells good. Takoyaki, huh? Wanna share one? It's my treat. Excuse me, one takoyaki, please. Ooh, you're one fine-looking man. You get an extra one, hot stuff. Say, is this your girlfriend? Ah, the good old days of youth. That's not it. Um, hmm. Akihiko quietly put a takoyaki in his mouth. Hmm, it seems to have been hot. That was a dangerous bout, but I came out victorious in the end. Takoyaki has a tendency to be very hot. We went to a festival, too, when we were in Japan, and they had takoyaki, and they were on fire. <laughs> Here, eat up. You shared the takoyaki with Akihiko as he egged you on to dig in. You walked around the different shops together. Masks. I remember those. 500 yen, huh? I can actually afford these now. They were too expensive for me to buy when I was a kid. When I came to festivals, I'd just wander around and go home because I couldn't buy anything. Now I actually have the money. 
Hey, you two, would you like to play Lucky Draw? All you do is pick a ball. It's easy, and everyone's a winner. Lucky Draw, huh? I've always doubted whether it's really possible to win the stuff on display. Give it a try, Katone. I'll play for it. You stuck your hand inside the big box that the game attendant held out to you. The box is filled with individually numbered balls. If you pick one out immediately, you will get a kaleidoscope, and if you stir them around first, you'll get a Jack Frost doll. If you haven't done that one quest where you need three of the Jack Frost dolls, do this, that way you can get the Jack Frost doll. Uh, either way, it doesn't really matter, I'll just get the Jack Frost doll. You stirred the balls around before picking one out. Whoa, congratulations. Man, you've got some luck to win something at our booth, miss. Here's your prize, it's a Jack Frost doll. Obtained Jack Frost doll. It would have been amazing if you'd won first place. Though I'd hate for you to use up all your luck here, of all places. Oh, you're the one who drew the win, so the prize is yours. I'm saying that you can have it. The sky is covered in darkness. It's completely dark out. Looks like we've been here for quite a while. I had fun taking a breather today. Thank you. You decided to go back to the dorm. Summer vacation continues. Okay, so we're basically free to do whatever we want today. Um, I don't know. Oh, we should probably watch television. You turned on the television. In weather-related news, has Japan become a subtropical climate? By all indications, this week will be another humid one. This is in addition to all the disasters worldwide, such as hurricanes and tsunamis. Eh, interesting. The summer festival was a very good experience. The rate at which the food substance cotton candy expanded was beyond my expectations. <laughs> I am looking forward to the next summer festival. That's cute. I feed Koromaru leftovers, usually beef bowl. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Hmm, Koromaru's food? Well, he usually eats vitamin enhanced dog food, but sometimes we feed him our leftovers. It's important that he eats a balanced and nutritious diet. Hmm, uh, leftovers are generally not good for dogs though. Am I not wrong there? I don't know. I think I'm right. Uh, let's hit the Anari Shrine. Let me go ahead and choose a card. I'll be right back. Okay, so went ahead and did that. We're gonna go ahead and head hang out with uh, uh, Mako today. Um, I think we just want to spend time with her at this point. We can't actually like uh, continue on with our social link quite yet. Next, Will, you can pick this time. As you spend time with Mako, you, found, you felt yourself growing closer to her. You feel that your relationship will grow stronger soon. It's getting late. You decided to return to the dormitory. Oh, hey! Hi. It's so hot. I hate this weather. Don't you agree? It's brutal. It's always like this during... It's always like this during this time of the year. Anyway, there won't be another full moon until September, right after summer break ends. It's like planning for exams, huh? Well, at least there are only four shadows left. We have to hang in there. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I know that Kuro-chan didn't mean to hurt Yukari-chan's feelings, but I'm sure she's a little down. I don't know what to do in this kind of situation. Ahahaha, <laughs> that's awesome. He would need it. Ah, that cracks me up. What happened? I overcooked my meal the other day, and I didn't want to throw it away, so I gave it to Koromaru. But he would need it. Ah, that bummed me out. I mean, I know I burned it, but I didn't think it was that bad. Apparently it was. Mitsuru-san took Aiga-san to the summer festival. I didn't hear anything on the news about it, so no one must have noticed that Aigus is a robot. She must have been in stealth mode. Yes, I guess. I don't I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna hang out with Koromaru now at this point. Um each evening you can spend time with him and become closer. So Koromaru is looking at you pleadingly. Let's spend the evening with Koromaru. Woof! Hmm. Koromaru is scratching himself with his hind leg. Huh? Does Koro-chan have some fleas? Fuka came in. Um, either one, I'm gonna say, are you itchy somewhere? Grr. Koromaru is looking the other way. Oh, I know. I bought something the other day. Wait right here. Fuka came back carrying something. Here, it's a doggy brush. Koro-chan, would you like us to brush your fur? Arf! Koromaru seems happy. You decided to brush Koromaru with Fuka. Woof. Uh, does that feel good? Arf! Koromaru seems content. Koro-chan seems happy. Woof. Koromaru's fur seems a little softer now. 
he seems happy too. This is probably the most wholesome social link we've got going here. <laughs> Grr. Hmm? Kuromaru suddenly got up and backed up. Kuro-chan, do you not like your stomach being touched? Hmm. He spent a peaceful moment with Koromaru. Okay, so another part of the summer vacation is a film festival. Hello, this is Rio. If you're bored today, want to go to the movies? They're having a film festival there right now. I heard they're running horror flicks all day today. Doesn't that sound awesome? What should you do? If you accept the offer, you'll gain courage, but we already have our courage maxed. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and decline the offer. Oh, I see. Well, see you later. Rio seems disappointed. Uh, I could show off these, but I'm not really interested in doing that. So we're not going to. Okay. Well, what we are going to do, though, is we're going to head to the town map. I'm just going to beeline to exactly what I want to do today because I don't think anybody's out and about. And we're actually going to go over here to the fortune box and we're going to pull one for people outside of school and for Mako, because uh, we should be, this should act, I don't think we'll have to do much more for her relationship with us after this one. So we feel closer to Mako. Today's luck is, according to the fortune, you will have fair luck. Money will, may also be in your future. Hmm, you just found a thousand yen. Wow, that's nice. Welcome back. Hey. We have less than two weeks until school resumes. Fighting the shadows is our priority, but you should still study some during the daytime. Uh, we we can't go into Tartarus, but there's a good reason why we're not, and it, has to, it comes down to missing people. Kuromaro is no mere dog. He's an essential member of Seas. Please consider carefully consider what you feed him. I don't know if that was uh, a furry car or not. You turned on the television. Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a man in his 20s with a sour face. Um, I mean a handsome salary man. Though he hides it with his hair, the scar on his forehead is still obvious. I wonder what happened. Next is news. Pain, pain, go away. Maybe you should, like, not just air people's dirty laundry. Anyway, we need to work on our academics, so we are going to study in here. You have decided to study. Your academics has increased. You're feeling sleepy. You have studied enough for tonight. Summer vacation continues. Your cell phone is ringing. Or, I'm sorry, your cell phone rang. Good morning, this is Theodore. There is a human, one of them I think, wandering around Tartarus. Please carry out a search and rescue. Goodbye now. The call ended. Okay, so today's call is from Sayori. Um, and this time, would you like to go to the movies today? They're showing a series of nature documentaries. Does that sound all right? Um, we're gonna decline, but it would increase your charm if you are interested in increasing your charm, which we already have a max, so I don't care. So there. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has anything new to say at this point. You turned on the television. Hi won its 11th victory, the first in four years. And now some more disturbing news. Satsuki Onozuka, 64, a housewife in Minato-ku has been reported missing. Police are looking into the possibility that she was involved in an accident, but asked for public support. There's a possibility that she may have wandered into Tartarus. You must go rescue her. We will definitely do that. I think, I don't know if anybody has any new conversation or not. So it doesn't look like we actually have anything to say or to hear from anybody. So let's get into town. And we're gonna head straight to Naganaki Shrine and we're gonna hang out with a someone small. Oh, hi, what are we going to play today? I don't know, let's go ahead and uh, spend some time with her. Um, what should we do? The hours flew by as you hung out. I'm kind of hungry. Let's go out to eat. What do you feel like eating? Uh, yeah, how about hamburgers? Oh, I want a frog burger from Wild Duck. Mako seems happy. You decided to take Mako to Wild Duck Burger. You want Todai Strip Mall Wild Duck Burger. You decided to grab a burger with Mako. So the other day, mom and dad, they talked to me about why they were getting divorced. 
I was sad, but I listened to what they said. Did I do good? Good girl. Hee <laughs> thanks a bunch. Miko seems very happy. So mom and dad, they said that when there's no love, it's still hard to be married. They said not to worry because they would always love me. Hmm. I told them that it's okay to get divorced. It must be hard to live together when they don't love each other after all. Hey, so I have to choose whether I want to live with mom or dad, but I can't choose that. You decide for me, okay? Um, I think... So in my notes it says to choose your dad, so let's do that. I love dad so much, he likes to buy me toys and stuff. Mako seems very happy, but mom cries so much lately. I don't want her to be all alone. Maybe I should go with her. Oh, mom might move somewhere far away, so if I went with her, I couldn't play with you anymore. That would be bad. You felt like you were really my big sister. Mako seems to really like you. Your relationship is stronger now. All right, we have a couple more links with her. We'll get there. But I think one of them gets really weird. I'd better get home. Hey, will you hold my hand on the way home? He returned to the dorm after walking Mako home. Sup, dude? Hi. Damn, it's hot. I'm sweating like a pig. It's all in your head. The heat will only affect you if you allow it to. Hmm. Of course, there are limits to that theory. Ugh. I think nobody has anything really interesting to say here. So, um... All right, well, let's just go ahead and we're gonna head to town. We still need to work on our academics. So we're gonna go ahead and head to Polonia Mall. Come over here and go to Game Parade to play. It's been a while since we've been here to play the quiz game. We should be getting pretty close to getting it done. You tested your mastery of trivia against players from all over Japan. Your academics has greatly increased. It's getting late. You decide to go back to the dorm. Meanwhile, in front of Tatsumi Port Island Station. Man, it's scorching hot out here. Junpei opened up his cell. Shoot, it's already the 20th. Summer break's almost over. Too bad there's nothing to do. You know, you'd think with special powers, the world wouldn't be so boring. Hmm? Girl in a dress. We've seen her before. Is that girl drawing something? Is she some kind of caricature artist? Nah, couldn't be. There's no one around her. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing here to draw. Junpei walked near the girl. Get out of my way. I can't see. Move. Um, uh, sorry. Man, I wish I could see what she's drawing. Junpei took a peek at the girl's drawing from afar. The page is filled with red and black. It looks nothing like the surroundings. It must be some abstract piece. What do you want? Uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, what's with that outfit? And what the hell is she drawing? Man, I'll never understand art. Oh well. Okay, so that's the f that's actually a important part of um, store important piece of story, by the way. So yeah, Junpei's not around again, huh? I never see that guy doing any homework. Just keep all of that in mind. You turned on the television. It seems the special about the game announced today is on. Oh, I know that game. I played it before. They're releasing a handheld version of it. I should get that when it comes out. I need to work on my summer vacation homework. Junpei-kun said he's going to do all his at once. How are you planning to finish yours, Katone? Uh, little by little. Good, that's the easiest way to do it. I've been doing most of my homework every day, so I'm almost done with it. Koromaru-san's persona is strong against fire and darkness. However, it is weak against light, so please be careful of Hama skills. Yeah, is that- is nobody else really here? I was wondering if, like, Mitsuru is here or something, but I don't think she is, actually. Um, is Yukari in her room? Mitsuru in her room. Are they in the command room? 
Do we have any new recordings? Oh, there is a new recording. Sweet, let's go ahead and watch the new recording. I knew there was a new one coming. So this is on August 13th. I had to figure out what eight was. Hmm. It looks like Akihiko's room. Akihiko is pacing around his room looking upset. Damn it. I'm still not over that business in Yakushima. What? What business? Is my way with girls really no better than Junpei's? How could they treat me the same as his lame pickup lines? Hmm. Akihiko picked up a magazine from his desk. Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, I can't think of many examples, but I can do that much at least. Careful. Making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. <sighs> <laughs> when people speak to you, do you try to respond with pure logic and reason? You do. This is a common mistake with inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling. <sighs> I gotta admit, they've got a point. Try testing yourself by speaking as if you're asking a female friend or co-worker to your favorite store. The two most important things are to smile and have a good sense of humor. Huh. Uh, hey there! What great timing to see you here! <laughs> good one! I'm going to the beef bowl place. Wanna come with? We actually uh, had this conversation. Uh, humor. Humor. You know, the beef bowl place. Oh, hey, maybe we could meet up there. <laughs> no, this is a Kutsky's thing. Uh, no, so, yeah, no. Yeah. What am I, the chairman? Exactly. That's it. Screw this. Akihiko started pounding the sandbag with all his might. Poor Akihiko. <laughs> the recording ends here. Huh, that's enough of that nonsense. Let's get out of here. Okay, we're gonna head to... We're going to head to Polonia Mall, or Polonia Mall, there we go. Uh, because, speaking of things that we haven't seen yet, yes, we have to go save a person, but there is actually another quest that I wanna take care of today. And that is Naganaki Shrine with Theodore. Uh, he will actually call you to go to the movies, but I'm not going to go with him. Sorry, Theodore. Go on a date with Theo. Maybe we will. Thank you very much. Well then, please lead the way. Naganaki Shrine. So this is a shrine. I see. I'm sensing mysterious presences here. They're different from the shadows. See? There's one behind you. Excuse me, what? Behind you? Please don't glare at me so. I was only joking. Now then, the first order of business is to worship at the shrine, correct? Hmm, do you know how? Uh, of course I do. First, I put the coins in this wooden box. Yes. Theo pulled out a wallet while saying so. Huh? Theo began dumping such a large quantity of coins that the offering box is straining to hold them. After which, I must immediately swing the rope. Because you get the god's attention. Lastly, I call out my wish. No, you just have to pray. Uh, um, hmm. This isn't good. I'm drawing a blank on what to wish for. You can just do it silently. But it would be improper not to call out a wish. Huh? Ah, of course. I'll wish for your safety. Theo began praying enthusiastically. I wish that my dear friend remains, um. Theo fell silent. W would you perhaps mind not listening? It's odd, I admit. But for some reason, I don't feel comfortable knowing that you're listening. Oh, Theo is mumbling. Theo seems to have concluded the ritual by whispering his wish. Everything will be all right now. You'll be protected for all eternity. Thanks, Theo. Do you intend to pray for anything? Hmm. Let's see. Let's do for your safety. For mine? But I am an avatar of power. I don't believe I'm quite weak enough to require ah. prayers for my safety. But this must be your generosity of spirit in action. Thank you very much. 
It's interesting that he does say that he's an avatar of power because it does kind of put into perspective what the Velvet Room attendants think of themselves. And yes, they are very powerful. Spoilers. The, I don't think I actually beat um, Elizabeth or Theodore in my last playthrough. We will be doing that in this one. And I've done, let's see, in four I beat Margaret and in five I beat... Did I beat the twins in five? I don't remember if I actually went through and did that. Uh, anyway, this battle, is, this, this one is the most annoying. You put your hands together and prayed. It isn't mandatory to call out one's wish? Sorry, Theo. Well, if that's so, then why didn't you... Well, never mind. Excuse me. I've been wondering since our arrival, but the structures over here, could these be... Theo is gazing at the park built near the shrine. Steel... Titanium? Wood? Is this a house? I mean, no, but uh, you play with them. You play with them? Uh, play? Yep. Oh, what? Uh, how does it work? Theo's eyes are glistening. Theo squatted under the slide for some reason. It, is it like this? No. And like this? Theo eagerly stood on top of the horizontal bar. It's oh, quite difficult to maintain one's balance on these. I don't, um, it takes practice. So I see. Theo is desperately trying to keep his balance. Hmm. Theo jumped down. Why are you laughing like that? Cuz, <laughs> I'm sorry. This isn't for standing on, is it? Oh, you could have said so sooner. I'm bad. You spent an you spent an invigorating afternoon with Theo. Thank you for a fulfilling afternoon today as well. Hmm. I must let you go home soon. But hmm. I wonder what this is. I don't understand either. Hmm. Let us return. Ah, we're approaching the stairs. Please mind your step. Just like a butler. You return to the Velvet Room with Theo. Thank you for answering my request. Well then. Thank you for showing me around Naganaki Shrine. The balance of spiritual and physical health present, present there is something I will have to reflect on later. As it happens, I've asked my master about implementing a set of horizontal bars here. I argued that they would serve in maintaining one's physical condition, but he refused immediately. Ah yes, I have a very special reward for you. With this, you can fuse Thoth. He comes in the form of a beast, yet possesses knowledge beyond that of any human. Try him out and see for yourself the wisdom it may grant you. I'd like it if we, if I could walk with you again in your world someday. Please take this as your reward. And we get a Book of Ancients. Okay. I really don't have anything else that I want to do here. Let's get out. And um, we're going to go ahead and head to the shrine itself. Speaking of shrine, and we're gonna pull a fortune for Koromaru this time. Uh, friends? Yes, <laughs> there we go. I was like, I don't even know which one. Today's luck is bad luck. Be careful with your money. Hmm, a thousand yen just fell out of your pocket and blew away. Luckily, we had just gained that from the shrine, so it doesn't matter. Greetings. Greetings. The next full moon will appear on the 5th of September. We will have two weeks to prepare for the shadow. Hey, Ai-chan, you want to go get some ice cream? That will not help us prepare. Moreover, ice cream rots away human teeth, does it not? Nah, ice cream is one of the full, one of the four basic food groups. It's all over the news. Apathy syndrome cases are increasing. We must do something about this. There are some real weirdos out there, man. You know those gothic lolitas, right? Well, I saw one drawing all this weird shit in a notebook. She seemed like she was living in a different world, dude. I need to work on my summer vacation homework. Junpei Kun said he's going to do his all at once. How are you planning to finish yours? Oh, we already talked about this, so I'm gonna just move on. Gro oh, nope, we already talked to you about that. Uh, nobody else, I guess. Okay. So, um. I'm just looking at my social links here. I'm gonna save because I actually do want to show off a specific thing. I mean, if we're gonna harass Leo or Theodore for his um, funny 
Ness. I mean, if we're gonna harass Theodore for his hilariousness, we're gonna go ahead and just see all of it. And we're gonna hang out with Koromaru tonight. Woof woof. There's a ball at Koromaru's feet. Uh, let's pick it up. Arf. Koromaru seems happy. It seems he wants you to throw it and play with him. You pick it up and throw it. Woof. Koromaru happily went to fetch it. He brought it back in his mouth. You wanna do one more? Woof. Koromaru seems happy. You threw the ball a number of times. Oh, is she playing with you, Koro-chan? You're having fun, aren't you? Arf. Hey, do you think Koro-chan is still young? Hmm, I think he's still young. I think so too. He's really agile. The other day I asked Igus how I asked Igus too how old Koro-chan is. She said that even Koro-chan doesn't know his age. That makes sense though. I doubt Koro-chan has a sense of how many years and months it's been since he was born. Hmm. Koro Mar Koromaru is looking up with glossy eyes. I think the priest, his old owner, knew how old Korochan is. There must be a lot only he knew about. I hope we can take the priest's place someday. Hmm. Koromaru is quietly looking at you. When you pat his head, he squints his eyes happily. Your bond with Koromaru has gotten a little stronger. Woof. Koromaru is yawning. You spent a moment of peace with Koromaru. Summer vacation will be over soon. So, speaking of Theodore. Hello, this is Theodore. I've heard there is an event underway in your world now called a film festival. I'd be intrigued to see this for myself. Do you have any interest in accompanying me? What should you do? Let's go and accept the offer. Thank you very much. I shall see you at, a, at the appointed time then. Uh, we'll re... we'll back it up, but for right now, we have decided to go to the movies with Theo, because I want to see what Theo's thoughts are here. Port Island Station Movie Theater. The theater is crowded because of the movie marathon. There's a new theme each day. Today they're showing tear jerkers. What are tear jerkers? I feel that I'll learn something new. I'm looking forward to this. You have learned some romantic one-liners from the movie. Your charm has greatly increased. There was much about that that I didn't understand. Most of it, in truth. However, for some reason, it pained me inside. I do not understand the implications behind this. Hmm. Something to keep my mind occupied for a while, at any rate. Thank you very much for today. Please allow me to escort you back. Theo escorted you back to the dorm. Well, that's sweet, I guess. Anyway, let's um, oh, hey. let's go back. Only 10 days left of summer break. You look really bored, Junpei. What's wrong with that? It takes a lot of maturity to fully appreciate boredom. Yeah, you're real mature. Look who's talking, you Katan. You're the one who's afraid of ghosts. Shut up, Stupei. Okay, so I had to take a short break there because I completely messed this up. Uh, my notes are wrong. I don't know what happened here. Anyway, we went ahead to the mall because we're gonna go in and hang out with the monk here. But one of the things here, look, we've actually got, I can't get the groove, groove, groove. I can't groove, get groove. Uh, it hasn't thrown off my groove yet, but I'm getting kind of scared. You see that man there? He's so weird. I knew he was weird from the start, but wow, he's really out there. Uh, watch, I bet he'll get kicked out pretty soon. I think that, I don't know if that's the guy or not that was hitting on us. Hey, what do you have? Oh, it's you. Maybe I'll hire you if we need an extra hand. Anyway, we're gonna hang out with Mutatsu this evening. Mutatsu seems to be drinking by himself. Let's go ahead and spend some time with him. Oh, it's you. Hey, can you help me out, kid? I don't feel so good. Damn it, I can't believe I let this happen. Ugh, I'm in bad shape. Uh, you should get home. Yeah, my notes were wrong here. Yeah, you're right, kid. I should go home and sleep. Mutatsu agreed with you. But even if I go home, I completely forgot I have a memorial service to conduct, reciting the heart suture with a hangover. Ugh. Before, no matter how much I drank, all I needed was a cold shower to snap out of it. Guess I'm getting old. <laughs> it's time like times like these I wish I didn't live alone. What about your workers? Workers? <laughs> you mean the other monks? My temple's small and I don't depend on nobody but myself, so I'm the only one there. Mutatsu has a bitter smile on his face. 
If you think about it, living alone is probably the best thing a person could do. You don't have to wait for somebody else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. My son took forever in there. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. All things visible are bound to change and disappear. All things in this world are not singular. They're all smaller parts of a bigger picture. And yet they're all different from each other. All things in this world are unique. To put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, someone else can always mess it up. All things are unique, yet they are not singular. Maybe you've messed up my life a bit too. <laughs> you saw through Mutatsu's harsh words and felt his kindness. You understand Mutatsu better now. You were getting sleepy. I'm going home, kid. My head's killing me. Oh yeah, about the memorial service? The kid was only 19. A random murder victim. What a harsh world we live in. You be careful on your way home, okay kid? You decided to go back to the dorm. Summer vacation will be over soon. Okay, but today we're going to be getting a phone call from... Who is this? Uh, Bebe, actually. And they're showing French films. Oh, God. He does speak French. We're going to decline the offer, uh, of course, but um, let's just move on. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's head down to the first floor and see what's on TV here. He turned on the television. There's nothing interesting on the news. Never mind, then. I think... The number of the lost is a good measure of the strength of a shadow. The more victims there are, the stronger the shadow. Based on our data thus far, the next shadow will like most likely be stronger than the last. Oh, I guess uh, nobody else has anything interesting to say. Mitsuru isn't here today. She has something she needs to do. But I am here, so we can still go to Tartarus. We are not going to be going to Tartarus, and I'm going to end it here because uh, i got to figure out that last little bit of stuff. I will see you all next time. I think we still have, just doing a quick glance, a little bit of storyline coming up, um, among other things. And we're gonna be going to Tartarus real soon. So I will see you guys then.